What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Washington Nationals versus Miami Marlins Major League Baseball matchup going down Sunday, June 16th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season, but what it's going to get you access to is the waiting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my Nerfies and Nerfies and my first five plays that have been absolute money this season. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, call 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Washington Nationals and the Miami Marlins. The Washington Nationals sending out Mitchell Parker for the start in this one while Jesus Luzardo will get the start for the Miami Marlins. And I was on the wrong side of Jesus Luzardo in his last appearance. I was, you know, trashed for it on the morning show because Knock Knock is one of our favorites. And, you know, for good reason. I mean, he has pitched well for the majority of the season. There have been some blip starts that he's had, like he did against uh, the Tampa Bay Rays. But I will give Luzardo credit. The One of the knocks on him was that he really has his struggles on the road. But in his last three road starts going all the way back to April 20th, I mean, six innings of two-run ball against the Cubs, six innings of three-run ball against the Padres, five and two-thirds of two-run ball against the uh, the New York Mets. So he is pitching well on the road in recent starts, but I still don't know if I'm ready to back him just yet, mainly because, once again, the issue for the Miami Marlins has been run support for their starting pitching. Now, the Miami Marlins, in the last two weeks, basically in the month of June, against left-handed pitching are hitting 234 which is definitely a step up from where they've been, you know, over the course of the entire season. Uh, But still, not great numbers. They're only averaging two runs per nine innings in their last 10 games against left-handed pitching while hitting 229. Meanwhile, the Washington Nationals, 3.2 runs per nine innings uh, and uh, hitting 200 against lefties in their last 10 games. So both teams having their fair share of issues against lefties. um, But the Washington Nationals were able to do enough against Trevor Rogers over seven innings of work to get the win on Saturday. And now you send Mitchell Parker to the mound, who has been better at home over the course of the season. You know, he's made uh, four starts at home, a 2.45 ERA, a 196 opponent's batting average. And I think that he has success here against the Miami Marlins. Like I said, the, the problem for the Marlins, going back to last year, when, you know, when Sandy Alcantara won the Cy Young and all this stuff was, the Marlins just struggle to put up runs to back up their starting pitching. I mean, look at their last 10 games. I guess even look at their last 11 if you if you count Saturday's victory. The Miami Marlins have scored four runs or less in 10 of their last 11 games and uh, three runs or less in eight of those 10. So run support continues to be a problem. The, the, the Miami Marlins are only 5-16 and 16 in, in games against the rest of the division and 3-22 and 22 against teams with uh, against the left-handed pitcher. So... I just think this is going to be problematic for the Miami Marlins once again. I think Mitchell Parker has a solid enough outing to help the Washington Nationals get another win over the Miami Marlins. The, the Nationals are 6-0 and against the Marlins this season. I know at some point it's got to turn and it's hard to you know, win that many games in a row against a certain opponent, especially if you're the Washington Nationals. But I think the Nationals are going to take it however it comes. I'm going to take the Washington Nationals in this one on the money line, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.